good afternoon i don't know which day it is probably 14 or 15 all right uh 14 i think nevertheless let's get on with the topic for the day today's topic is going to be three e's well for different aspects of skills or personality or attributes or traits the three e's keep on differing the three e's keep on differing for but to me personally speaking no matter what else you are doing no matter what else you are employed as or has taken up as a vocation right these three e's that i'm going to talk about today are going to be very essential and those three are education environment and experience yes education environment and experience so let's get to the story about that There was once a young man okay there was once a young man who aspired to be a doctor who aspired to be a doctor all right and he wanted to go abroad and study medicine but for familiar reasons and for reasons of finances he could not do that so he sought a uh, education in another field in another field all right it was very interesting to him but he wanted to further his education do a post graduation and things like that but he could not be put through that because his family was going through some tough times so what did he do he did not give up on his dream he started to teach a few younger people imagine he was just a graduate then okay so he started to teach the undergraduate people and people below that in the 10th and 12th classes in subjects that he knew okay and whatever he earned through that he made sure he channeled that towards his post graduate education he came out with flying colors he went on to be employed with the government of that country all right to his fortune the job that he took up with the government of the country entailed him to be working at various places at various places meaning to say his was a transferable job he had to be relocated time and again well this guy had spent the younger part of his life almost till the of about 27 28 years the first 27 28 years of his life in one part of the country and he had never ventured out beyond the borders of that particular region and his job made sure that he had to that he had to he adapted he adapted like a fish to water like a fish to water and he made sure he went wherever his job took him wherever his job took him all right after a point of time he settled in one part of the country where he liked so much by that time he was married he had a kid and he thought like he should have his own house he did all that he was in his mid 40s when again he had to be relocated to another far flung part of the country where the people were unknown to him the food habits were unknown to him and he was also not mentally prepared at this point of time but nevertheless he took it up as a challenge and he did it the point when he did it couple of years down the line his father fell sick so he had to rush up and back down on several visits to take care of his ailing father but unfortunately his father passed but this person was still on the part of the country and he relocated another couple of times for his job okay after much of this uh, relocation and things like that he ultimately retired and he came back to the house where he put up so why am i telling you this far flung vague kind of story today a person no matter whether he is in india or america or any other part of the world when a person stays in one particular region or country for in the growing formative stages of his life he adapts to the local taste buds he adapts to the local people he adapts to the local lifestyle so when you are thrown to another part of the country or region which is very far flung where people are different the food is different the environment is different okay i'm not talking about only the climatic environment i'm talking even about the working culture is different 
where people behave differently, so on and so forth. It takes a lot for this person to change and adapt. Well, probably it's much easier today because people nowadays are more in tune with what happens. People are more cosmopolitan. People everywhere comprise of people from everywhere else. But the story which I told you was played out in real life about 50 years ago and again about 30 years ago. Okay. So that being said, it was not very easy. It was not very easy. I have seen the story play out with my very eyes at least 30 years ago. I was not born 50 years ago. Right. I'm telling you this with conviction because the person who I was talking to you about is my dear father. He's no more today, but yes, this actually happened with him. He went on to work in the capacity of a geologist with the government of India and he was transferred from Bangalore, from Mysore to Goa to Bangalore to and Bangalore, where he stayed for a good long time, over 11, 12 years, and then again he had to go in his mid-40s all the way till Dehradun. It was not the state capital as we know of it today. It was a very small town. Okay, I'm talking about the early 90s. And then he had to go to Ajmer and then Nagpur and then Chennai and then back to Bangalore at the time of his retirement. It was not easy. It was not at all easy because the values, the culture, the education that he had been brought up on was starkly different from these places. The environment was different. The people were different. But my father not only made it through, he not only survived, he thrived. Okay. He made a lot of friends. He was a very friendly person. He was a very talkative kind of person. He knew how to get by with people. So the father who had stayed for the first three decades of his life only in Mysore and its vicinity and he knew and who knew only two languages, English and Kannada, okay, went on to pick up Hindi variable and due to his job which involved a lot of Tamil Nadu and uh, Andhra, he went on to pick up Tamil exceedingly well and Telugu to a large extent also. So that was how he adapted himself, endeared himself to people by the way of learning their language, speaking their tongue so that he could relate to them better. It served his purpose also, obviously. He could understand what was the issues that he had to be looking at, what he could help them with, so on and so forth. So it was a very mutual kind of situation. But nevertheless, he brought his three E's into play. Okay, The Jack, King and Queen, if I can say so, of his uh, life. That was the education, experience and environment. He did not crib about the environment. In fact, when he was in Dehradun, 92, 90, 91, 92 times, those were the days of the, there were a lot of rioting happening over there based on some government report, I think it was a Mandal Commission report. And uh, we did not have cell phones. Even landline phones were very tough to come by. And we were all worried sitting here in Bangalore. But he made it through because he had made a good lot of friends and they sheltered him. They gave him a lot of comfort and he returned back safe and sound. All right. He brought his education into four because he was known as a well-read person, not only textbook wise, but he was an avid reader of a lot of different subjects and he could talk freely. He could talk up people, people very freely. All right. I still remember that his the house owner where he was renting in Dehradun, he had come down to Bangalore to attend uh, a civil services exam and we had hosted him for almost four or five days. There was a lot of bonhomie with my father. Okay, So this is how you play your three E's. I just took an example that was close to my heart. Okay, I can tell you exactly what are my three E's but that won't make much sense to you because your three E's are starkly different from my three E's. But the basic, very, very basic, they are the same three E's. Education, environment and experience. How you want to play it is up to you. Now my father never told me how to use these things. I just saw him using that and made my own derivations. Alright. I am sure you can also do the same with people who are your kith and kin. But most importantly, you need to do this 
with your own life what are your own three e's how have you played them in the sense are you aware of them question number one are you aware of them number two are you aware that they are your most valuable asset number three are you aware of the value that they carry in your future life as well because education is something that you have gained not only academically but also by being working or relationships or with uh, bonding with people so on and so forth so everything is education all right environment is all those different places where you have been even if you are a person who has been in one single city still you would have thrived at different jobs different jobs different schools different colleges different localities okay so every place would have added its own flavor that's the environment that you carry along with you okay and experience with this education and the environment thrown in what was your experience what did you learn how did you choose to learn whatever you learned how has that shaped you how has that shaped your thoughts and feelings and what have you chosen to do about that go ahead think about the three e's today make your own conclusions because you're the only person who can either trust or justify what your three e's are bring them into play and see that whatever you have been doing in life has been around these three e's and whatever you plan to do in the way of your goals or targets will be around those three E's. If you use them the right way, the three E's will be your leverage point, will be your pivot to actually propel you up the ladder of success. Not using them is not going to pull you down, but you will not be able to milk the fruit of that success if you are not going to use the three E's. There are not many people who will tell you this, but your experience, even if you have been sitting at home for one year, is still enormous. All right. How you have made use of your environment will depend upon your personality. All right. And education is how well you are willing to absorb and assimilate about what's happening around you. It is going to be your education. All right. Go ahead. Pull out a notebook. Take a pencil. Sit down and mull about what are your things. Right? Use it effectively and I want to see you climbing that ladder of success steadily all the way. Alright? Goodbye from me. I'll see you on another day with another story.